Hey, it's Desiree here from DesireePeoples.com, and today's QOTW, our question of the week, comes from San Francisco, California. And the question is, Desiree, how can I become a brand ambassador? Okay, well, <laughs> becoming a brand ambassador is... For some bloggers, it's like the holy grail of blogging. It means that someone has recognized you enough to want to reach out to you and have you represent their product, service, company, or whatever. So for those of you that don't know, being a brand ambassador is when you basically become an online spokesperson. It doesn't always have to be online, but pretty much today it is. You become a spokesperson for a particular brand, service, or product, and usually the relationship is built by the blogger choosing to exclusively represent the brand or product online. They also are loyal to this particular company and they also maybe do some things on behalf of the company as well and that may be uh, hosting an event either online or off, maybe reviewing the products, maybe hosting giveaways or whatever promoting the product in some way and that's usually what a brand ambassador does some of them are paid positions some of them are not sometimes you may get paid with products free products other times you may just get the recognition of saying that I'm a brand ambassador for XYZ company so the question is how can I become a brand ambassador well there are several ways that it can happen the first way is that the company can reach out to you directly they can either see what you're doing online and they may send you an email or they may contact you on Twitter or Facebook the second way that you can become a brand ambassador is you can actually initiate contact with the company that you're interested in representing uh, this may or may not be successful. I know of bloggers who have done it and it has worked out well. And I know other bloggers who have done it and still are waiting to hear back. So it's basically just a matter of how much you're willing to work and how patient you're willing to be in getting a response. Now sometimes when you are a brand ambassador, you may have to sign a contract. So that's something you need to be aware of as well. And also if you are a brand ambassador, you're going to have certain responsibilities to that company or brand that you're also going to have to be aware of. So in order to increase your chances of becoming a brand ambassador, you need to have some strong numbers under your belt, meaning you need to have a strong following on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, if not all of the above. And you also need to have a blog that's updated regularly. You need to have a reputation online that's not going to detract away from the particular brand. Nothing that's going to you know, make them shine in a negative light, so to speak. And you also want to be aware of how long your ambassadorship will last. So, uh, you know, it may be like a three-month commitment. It may be a two-week commitment. It may be a year commitment. You know, it just depends on whatever it is you decide to work out and what uh, both parties agree on. So I think becoming a brand ambassador today is probably not as... Uh, as exciting as it was maybe just a few years ago but for some people it's a way of life and it's something that they truly enjoy so I hope this answers your question if you'd like to submit a question for our QOTW which is our question of the week go ahead and shoot me an email my email address is Desiree at mommyreporter.com thanks for watching I'll see you next week